Tonight at 10, a major boost is being seen at one of the area's smallest commercial airports. Burlington just landed a new airline, the city's airport, one of nearly 200 nationwide, providing what the government calls essential air service. And as News Age Josh Lamberty reports tonight, it's all part of a federal program to connect smaller communities to hubs like Chicago and St. Louis. On the south side of Burlington, a smaller airport has its perks. It's a huge time saver. Jonathan Langdon is flying home from a business trip, connecting through Chicago on his way to Texas. It booked through Expedia just like anything else. Um, you know, it was it was straightforward. Sabino Gonzalez had a business trip here too. It's so nice to just get here and then 10 minutes away where, where we need to be. Um, so yeah, it's, it's great that Cape Air, you know, <laughs> is there to help us out. Cape Air is the commercial airline in Burlington, which just started flying here on February 1st. It offers flights to people in not just this community, but surrounding communities, uh, a way to uh, make their connections to the world through St. Louis and Chicago. Sarah Sandberg is the airport's director. She says the government subsidized service has new benefits for frequent flyers. You can go online to American or United and it will ticket in I, your full itinerary all the way through. They can they have the agreements to take your bags and check them all the way through. After the pandemic, there's new security for the next four years. We probably saw more than 80% drop when that started in 2020 and we did see a uh, an incline toward the end of that year a little bit. But Sandberg expects those numbers to climb again. More than just convenience, you get to have access to a lot of smaller places. In Burlington, added convenience is taking off. Josh Lamberty, WQAD News 8. There is at least one round trip from Burlington to both Chicago and St. Louis every day. Federal government currently subsidizes 60 communities in Alaska alone and 115 in the lower 48 states that otherwise would not have regularly scheduled air service.